Today's lesson, as you can see, is about graphing linear equations using slope and intercept. This is going to be a very basic how-to lesson. There's going to be a later lesson about how and why things happen the way they do. The first subject that we need to go over is the slope-intercept form of a linear equation, y equals mx plus b. b is called the y-intercept. m is called the slope. You know that from before. Here are four equations and a coordinate plane. On the coordinate plane, there are two axes. That's the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. We'll start off with the upper left equation, y equals 3 fifths x minus 7, where b is negative 7 and m is 3 fifths. So we go over to the y-axis, we go up to negative 7 down to negative 7, and we put a dot there. Go back to the equation. Find m. m is 3 fifths. Now we'll use m. Go back to where we started on the coordinate plane, back to negative 7 where we started. And we'll go 5 to the right and 3 up, and 5 to the right and 3 up and 5 to the right, and 3 up, and continue going until we reach the edge of the graph. There we are on the edge of the graph, but we still haven't finished making points. Go back to where we started, go 5 to the left, and 3 down. See how this continues the pattern? 5 to the left and 3 down, 5 to the left and 3 down, 5 to the left and 3 down, and we've reached the edge, this edge of the graph. We've gone from one edge to the other. That's enough points to make. All we have to do now is draw the line all the way through the points, all the way through the points, all the way through the points, continuing drawing the line until we go past the edge of the graph, put an arrow at that end, put an arrow at the other end, and there we have graphed y equals 3 fifths x minus 7. Again, in another lesson, we'll talk more about how this line relates to the equation. Here's m for this equation and b. So we go, b is positive 10, we go to the graph, we go to the y-axis, we go up to positive 10, make a point there, and now we'll use the slope. Remember, the slope is negative 5 halves. We go 2 to the right, but 5 down this time because it's negative 5 halves, so we go down instead of up. 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, and all the way to the bottom of the graph. Back to where we started, in the other direction, 2, 5, 2, 5, and we're at the edge of the graph, so now let's draw the line. Past the edge of the graph, put an arrow in the other direction, all the way down to the bottom, past the end, and put an arrow, and we've graphed the line for the equation y equals negative 5 sevs x plus 10. Little mistake there, undo. Here's our new equation, y equals 3x minus 18. We know that b is negative 18, that's fairly straightforward. m this time is 3, and you say to me, but there's always been two numbers. 3 is just 1. Now remember that 3 is equal to 3 over 1. So there's our two numbers, 1 and 3. Let's go to the graph. We go to the middle, go down to negative 18 on the y-axis and put a dot there. Focus in a little bit. There's our dot at negative 18 to start us off. Remember the slope is negative 3 is 3 over 1, so we go 1 to the right and 3 up. All the way to the top of the graph.
keep on making dots. Notice the next graph, would, the next dot would be off the graph, so we don't have to make any more dots. Back to the beginning where we started, that's already near the edge and the next dot would be off the end of the graph, so we'll draw the line. Arrow at the end, all the way through all those points, all the way to the top of the graph, and put an arrow at the end, and we've graphed that line. Our last equation is down here, y equals negative 4x plus 3. B is positive 3, easy enough. M is negative 4. And remember, negative 4 is negative 4 over 1. So we go back to the graph, find the y-axis. I'm changing colors just so it can be less confusing. B is positive 3. So we focus in, put a positive 3 on the y-axis, put a dot there. Remember the slope is negative 4 over 1. So we go 1 to the right and 4 down this time, down being negative. 1 to the right and 4 down, 1 to the right and 4 down, continuing, continuing until we get to the bottom of the graph. And the next point would be off the graph, so we'll go back to where we started. Go in the other direction, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, and we're at towards the top of the graph, so now we have to just draw the line. All the way up, past the edge of the graph, put an arrow. All the way down, all the way down, put an arrow, and that finishes those four lines, all four lines for all four equations, all on one graph. Simple enough.